Hi, I'm Jana and I'm coming to you from a park in the middle of Munich. Uh, I'm normally not very comfortable filming outside and talking to a camera, but today I was feeling a little adventurous and I thought I would do this intro on our way to the art supply shop. So I'm here with Eddie, being a good boy. And uh, yeah, I found this really nice looking old art supply shop and uh, I want to show you around. So let's go. So it's the next day and I'm gonna show you now what I got at the art supply shop. It was a really beautiful shop and the staff was super super friendly and helpful and um, yeah I didn't need much, I didn't get much but there's a few things that I need to show you. Uh -huh. So I got this set of watercolors. It's by this brand called Schminke Eddie. I don't know it, I didn't do any research, but I was looking for a, a new set of watercolors just because the set I'm using now has quite a few of the watercolors used up. So it's like this. So you can, you get a few of the colors here already in the set, and then you can also um, buy separate ones to put them in here. So I already got three extra colors to put in on this side here. And then I got four brushes, um, just the, br the kind of brushes I use for inking all the time. And I need to get these quite often because they get um, frayed in the ends. So this is a super thin one, the thinnest one you can get. It's called 5 slash 0. It's really the smallest one you could get from this brand. It's called Schachinger Munich, the brand. Ah, uh, but um, it's by Da Vinci, so I think I've used those before. And then I've got two brushes in size zero. 
and then one in size 2. So I've got a nice collection going. And I also um, spent the whole day now um, sketching already to prepare um, something to draw and try out these new art supplies. So I've got this sketch of Eddie and me exiting the park where we filmed the intro for the video and going towards the um, Odeon's Platz. And here's another one of Eddie and me um, say hi to the lions at Odeon's Platz. And then I've got this one of the Schahinger, the art supply shop. So now I'm going to ink the drawings and then try out the new watercolors. And of course show you some of the process. Okay, I've done this one. I've done this one. Now I'm inking the last one. And then I'm gonna watercolor them tomorrow. It was quite ambitious to do all three of these. <laughs> Now, while inking this, I was thinking, what was I thinking? Three drawings for a video. But I think in the end it's going to be worth it. Yeah, I was thinking of um, committing to a, like a bigger drawing project while I'm here in Munich because I don't have like a big personal project that would that um, has ever made me commit to a project for a longer term and uh, I was thinking because we are here for a year of doing a collection of drawings a year in Munich and make a calendar out of it or a set of postcards or something like that or even like a little book or a zine or something like that I really think I need a project like this like a bigger one that I can make some sort of a product or like a little booklet out of in the end and I love going around Munich and seeing new things and then drawing them, so I think that would be the perfect thing to do. That's it for today, and tomorrow I do the watercolor, and I'm really excited to try the new set. These ones. Okay, so I'm here at my desk. Uh, I unwrapped the little watercolors last night. I'm just going to try the watercolors on a little swatch paper here. Looks nice. This I bought separately, the skin color. Um, and I think it's going to be really helpful. Before I had this one, <laughs> which is just like a color you can buy separately for like kids watercolors. And it worked, but it was quite opaque over the ink um, line, so sometimes the scanner picked it up too much. So we'll see how this one goes. But it looks good. Okay, let's do yellow. This is like a lemony, like almost like fluorescent yellow. Oh, it's actually a normal yellow. Yeah, you can definitely go like more or less opaque. Like a raspberry red, beautiful, and they're really nice and bright. Okay, like a true royal blue. This is gonna be more like a true grassy green. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing how the illustration looks like with these. I'm really happy so far. Also, look how nice it's blending. So yeah, I think we can start with the illustration. Look, do you want to see something? I have this tripod here on my desk. <laughs> Eddie's sitting with me. That's his new thing. He just demands. Oh, like this. They are... This set was 30 euros, 29 something. I think they were on some sort of a sale. Um, but they would, they are definitely like like a mid-range watercolors, I would say. They are sets that are around 80-90 euros. 
and the ones I was using before were a little less. They were like, I don't know, 15 or something. I had this um, little plastic case by Van Gogh. And they are one category cheaper, still nice, but I think this is noticeably nicer. Those are still like perfectly fine, just... I mean, right now I really appreciate these colors. Yeah, if you're in Munich, I really suggest you to visit the Schahinger art supply store, if you're into that kind of stuff. I think it's from like 1800s or something, it's really old, beautiful shop. I never paint myself tights. Of course I was wearing thick woolen tights, but I think it looks kind of weird. Should I paint tights or should I make it skin? My legs. I think I'm just gonna make them skin. Next week I want to go to Hofbrauhaus with CB and have a beer and draw there. <laughs> Should be fun. But yeah, if you're watching these videos, I do you like this model of me going and exploring like the city before I did it in Berlin, now I did it, do it here in Munich and then drawing about it? Is this interesting to you? Um, are you here more for the, um, the exploring the city part or are you more here for the drawing part? I'm really curious um, because right now this is just what I got used to doing but I definitely want to hear what's your opinion, what do you enjoy more so I know what kind of things and get more ideas of what kind of videos I can make for you to watch because as much as I'm enjoying doing them it's also for you so I really want to make stuff that interests people who watch these or yeah if you have any other things that you would like me to talk about or to show or anything about Munich that you would like me to see and document I'll be so happy to hear any suggestions also what are the other channels you like watching what type of videos do you like to watch on YouTube I <laughs> I love YouTube I mean I've watched people and their channels since I was in high school probably and I didn't have a great time in high school I was yeah not very comfortable in the social scenes and so on <laughs> um, so I really found so much um, comfort in like, coming home from school and watching YouTube <laughs> And I still there are still channels that I watch since then. It's definitely it was you know stuff from people's vlogs, like really known channels like Casey Neistat and then like um more of a, like a fashion y style videos I liked and I liked some like makeup stuff, not, not that I would um I would never really experimented with this myself, but it was just nice for me to see, so... Um, yeah, and right now I still have a bunch of channels I really enjoy. Oops, Eddie wants to go down. Oh, oh, oh! It's still my main um, way of... Uh, my main uh, entertainment channel, like watching YouTube videos. Um, and I'm always looking for a new one, new people to follow. And now that I'm doing these videos myself, I um, I really don't feel bad for watching them at any time because I find it I find it's also research for me. 
to find how other people film and their editing techniques and um, yeah, just things they talk about and stuff. Maybe I'm also gonna make a video, I had an idea already of um, talking about and drawing some of my favorite people I watch on YouTube. Let me know if you would be interested in that. Because it's not all just like drawing stuff, it's all sorts of um, things. I mean, actually, I watch very little of illustration or art channels. It's mostly more like lifestyle -y and other stuff. Some fashion-y. Also, how much are you interested in crochet stuff as well? I've put some crochet tutorials up here already. And um, yeah, I'm definitely more focused on illustration. Um, just because professionally I want to work in illustration. Um, but I also really enjoy crochet and I, I have a few projects that I would like to share as like patterns um, but so far those videos haven't gotten as ma as many views as the illustration ones so it's definitely also more like searchable stuff so if you people who are interested in crochet they would search projects so maybe the views would come that way but yeah, are you interested maybe even not, even if you're not trying to crochet yourself, like me talking about it a little bit or like seeing how certain things are done or just like document a little bit of the process, not just the patterns. I'm curious because there I really want to make a pattern of how I make this bag, but it's like a stripey, like really beginner friendly a uh, bag that I wear all the time and I think like even a beginner or like if you don't know how to crochet yet you could easily make it if you just learn the, the most basic steps um, stitches and it's a really easy one and I know crochet has become a bit more popular in the past year or two I think during the quarantine people started doing the handcrafts again <laughs> I think I will do these videos also. I'm still experimenting of what stuff gets views and what gets people interested, what people want to watch. I'm so looking forward for spring. <laughs> Once the Christmas is over, I really don't care for winter anymore. Also, I can't wait to explore the city in the spring. Because right now it's get, it gets so cold that it's really not fun to stay out for too long. And definitely in Munich I think it's the time to... The prime time in the warm months when you can really spend time by the river, in the parks. I can't wait for that. Okay. This is the first one. Okay, fresh glass of water. Fresh paper. <laughs> and uh, let's go. Okay, the second one. And the last one. <laughs> Quite a marathon today. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the trip downtown to Schachingers. I really recommend you a visit if you ever are in Munich and in need of some art supplies. And um, also a little trip downtown. And um, yeah, I hope you also like this drawing part. I hope you um, maybe find it helpful trying out these art supplies. I'm really happy with what I got. And uh, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next Sunday.